A good friend of mine is a personal fitness trainer, and he said when he gives clients the instruction to do as many push-ups or pull-ups or sit-ups or whatever it is for 30 seconds, some of his clients will get going right away before he even says start. And when he says stop, they'll do one or two more. And other clients, he'll say start and they'll kind of pause and then get going and they'll go for a while. And then invariably he says they stop and look up at him before he says stop. Like they're too tired or has it been 30 seconds or stuff like that. And he said, for those second kind of clients, it just feels like he wants their success more than they do. And so I would ask you, who wants you to win more than you want you to win? Because the answer should be nobody. Nobody should want your success more than you do. Coaches can inspire us, but they can't motivate us. That motivation's got to be inside us. See, the coach can only run alongside you. They can't run for you. And if you don't want it, nobody can transfer that to you in a way that's going to get it done for you. You've got to be the one pushing yourself. I use the analogy of a rope for success. It's something that we pull on and only we can pull on it. And the coaches can cheer us on, but they're on the other end kind of shouting down to us and all they can do is push. Well, pushing a rope doesn't help. Somebody's got to pull it and that's you. You've got to pull the rope of your own success. You've got to motivate yourself. And ultimately, you've got to want you to win more than anyone else does.